What's up, guys? Big D here, aka Bearded Irish Vapor from Big D Vapors Academy. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've done a review. I think it's been two weeks. Had a lot of life going on. Uh, but today, I'm bringing you. Let's see, which one can we see the best here? Celtic Vapor. Come on. Come on, camera. You can focus. There you go. Celtic Vapor bringing you the full line. This is for my man Sean O'Donnell. He's the juice maker of Celtic Vapor down uh, a couple, only a couple hours away from me, down in uh, Buffalo, New York. He uh, he sent me the full line for review. He's going to be on my Vapors TV show, all that good stuff. So uh, let's get right into it, shall we? So he sent me five flavors. I, I know he's got another new one coming out. So I don't know if I can quite call it the full line, but I think he just released the flavor. So when I got this, it was the full line. And uh, he sent me a pink milk, which is a strawberry milk. He sent me peach pachango, which is a peach mango. I like, you know, come on. I mean, I'm Irish. I'm the bearded Irish vapor. I had to jump on this Celtic vapor. This, this, whether in the beginning, whether it was good or bad, I know I had to get my hands on this and do a review. Um... The, all five are fucking great, to be honest with you. It's one of the first lines that I've had that I can honestly say I would buy, purchase, and vape religiously all five flavors. Um, so besides the pink milk and the pachango, which is a fine peach mango, this kind of threw me off. He sent me three, three cereal vapes. And I thought to myself, man... I've tried different cereals. I've tried Fruity Pebbles. I've tried Captain Crunch. I've tried, you know, I've never had a Lucky Charms, so Jay's a Lucky Charms. I said to myself, you know, man, these are probably all going to taste the same. Like, why would a dude send you three cereal flavors? The part that blew my mind, every single flavor is completely different. Every single flavor is completely true to what it needs to be, what it says it is. So let's take uh, Bedrock, for example. Obviously, we all know that's going to be the Fruity Pebbles. And then you got Captain Cloudberries, which is Crunch Berries, which, let me tell you, besides the pink milk, which I will admit, I had saved just enough for review, and then vape the rest of it. It's that damn good. It's replaced unicorn milk for me. So more than likely, when I get my hands on a Celtic Vapor sticker, Cutwood, over here, will be coming down, and it will be replaced with the Celtic Vapor because... Their strawberry milk blows unicorn milk out of the water. This is my second favorite flavor out of the line. It's in a very close tie with pink milk. This is a true, absolutely true to the flavor Captain Crunch Berry cereal. And then, of course, m another personal favorite of mine, but one that took me by surprise, Pot of Gold. This is a Lucky Charms vape. Very, very surprising to me that it tasted as good as it did. Um, which, actually... Let's lead off with uh, the Lucky Charm Fate. We'll get whatever I had on the cotton off. I forget what I had, but we'll get a little of this strip down there. And I will say, one thing that I'm super digging about his bottles, first off, is the childproof cap. Now, I've obviously everybody, every juice maker wants to use childproof caps. This one is so childproof, there's this little tiny ring that's it's sealed when you first get the bottle. But when you want to open it, you instead of pinching up here like you normally would, you actually have to go down by the neck of the bottle, pinch that little ring, and it twists right off. It's perfect. My kids would never be able to figure this out. It took me a couple hours to figure that out. I struggled with some of these bottles until I figured out the secret. <coughs> but pot of gold, here we go. Man, you can really, it, the marshmallow is there, the graininess of the cereal is there, and the milk is there. It's a, it's absolutely amazing. It, it literally is like you're just digging into a bowl of Lucky Charms. Now, he sent me this in a 3, Nick. I believe it's 80-20. That's one thing I'm not seeing on the bottle is the VGPG ratio. Um... I believe it's 80-20. I believe he said it's max VG, which max VG is always usually around 80-20, 90-10, but I believe it's 80-20. Um, but, I mean, simple labels. Celtic Vapor, the cereal, it has a picture of the cereal on it, and it has the name, Pot of Gold. But it's not blatant, like, 
It, he's not calling it Lucky Charms. Now, Captain Cloudberries, yeah, that's a little bit closer to the actual name of the cereal, but not to the point where it's going to cause a problem with the with the actual company who makes it. Um, honestly, all the cereal vapes are excellent. I'm not going to go through all the cereal vapes today, um, just because that would be a ton of different juices on my wick. Bedrock, I highly enjoy in my BFT tank. My 30 millimeter BFT. This little guy, well, big guy right here. Um, it's great in a dripper too. I just happen to prefer it in a tank. This Captain Cloudberries, which is literally like there's a drop or two left that I could probably vape, but honestly, I can't get over how good this one is in particular. I've had a couple different Crunchberry vapes. This one, you literally taste each and every flavor of every Crunchberry that is would be in the box of cereal. And it just melts together perfectly. And it even, you know how when you eat crunch berries, the roof of your mouth kind of gets a little roughed up? This, it doesn't rough the top of it up, but it gives you that same, like, taste sensation. It's really weird to discuss. Like, it's not a bad thing by any means. It's really, really good. Um, shit's so good. But the other one I will do live is the Pachango. Now, usually I'm not a peach guy. Usually I'm... Mango is my favorite fruit, besides cantaloupe. I haven't had a cantaloupe vape yet. So let's see here. This one I haven't dripped a ton of because peach and mango isn't my particular flavor profile. To me, they're super tart and it kills me on vaping. But I do really enjoy this juice. It, um... It's true to the flavor. You taste the peach. You taste the mango. I think there's a little hint of cream in there. But you can literally, like, when I got the box from him, you can literally smell that through the box. Um, it's not super tart. The peach is it's the peach is hidden. Um, it's not. It, you taste it, but it's not overpowering. It's not too tangy in your face, you know. I mean, like I said, it's honestly one of the first lines I've had that I can say five out of five I would buy. Regardless whether this is my flavor profile or not, I would buy it. I would vape it. I mean, it may be sparingly, but it's not going to be one of those juices. Like, I have a couple juices that just sit on my shelf that I don't vape unless, A, I have Vapor's Tongue, B, I'm just tore up from all my other flavors that I particularly love and I want to take a little break from them. That way I don't end up hating them. You know, it's just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the whole line phenomenal, and he does his pricing on them. I believe it's ten bucks a thirty mil or fifteen bucks a thirty mil, but only thirty bucks for a hundred and twenty mil. I mean, come on, that's perfect. You can't get much better than that. If you are a strawberry milk fan like I am, like I love all strawberry vapes, strawberry shortcake, strawberry cream, strawberry custard, you name it. If it has strawberry in it, I'm hooked. Um, so I, I can honestly tell you that I can tell a good strawberry vape from a shit strawberry vape. I wish I had more than pink milk to share with you guys. I wish I could vape that lava can because honestly, it is the hands down best strawberry milk vape I've had. Absolutely delicious. Um, and you can find him on Facebook. You just go on Facebook, type in Celtic Vapor, look for Sean O'Donnell. He's the, the owner of it. Um... And like I said, we're going to try and get him on the show next week over on vapors.tv slash team no steep. So you guys can come in, listen to him, uh, chat with him a little bit, ask him questions. And his juice is made in a clean room, which is important to me. You know, I don't want to vape. I don't mind vaping stuff that people make out of their house. I, not at all. Especially if I know that it's clean, it's in a clean environment. I don't have an issue with it at all. But if you're mixing in your basement or your closet... Chances are no. I wouldn't want to spend my money on that. This stuff here, definite 5 out of 5 winner. I highly suggest you guys go check it out. Um, so that's going to wrap it up for today. I'm already pushing 10 minutes on this review. So uh, thanks, guys. Have a great day.